Hey guys, Dr. David Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about a super common condition which has been requested uh, for me to produce and that's called vitiligo and how I actually treat this condition. Um, this condition is super common, it affects 2% of the population. As you know, the most famous person who had it was Michael Jackson. Uh, did you know also Richard Hammond, uh, if you're a card nut, uh, Richard Hammond also suffers from um, vitiligo and um, basketball player uh, Rashid Wallace also has, has vitiligo, it is that common. So in this video, I'll be explaining basically why these white patches occur uh, and the scientific basis behind our treatments. So the reason why they occur, they're part of an autoimmune disease. In other words, your body's immune system is just too strong. So they recognize your cells which produce pigment called melanocytes as foreign. And what happens is that they are under attack. So as part of the treatment, the first step is to actually halt this immune attack and we do that by using creams. So we use a different sort of, sort of anti-inflammatory creams including some corticosteroids alternating with non-corticosteroids. So once again guys, I didn't invent this, this is um, what any basic dermatologist would, would know how to do. So it's not me as a laser dermatologist just having special skills, it's not like that. It's, it's, um, we follow what's known as the European standards of um, dermatology, vitiligo guidelines, okay? And um, so the first part is to halt the immune attack and the second part is really cool and this is where the lasers and the lights come in because we use phototherapy in the form of light to actually not only halt the immune response but wake up the cells which have been hidden in the hair follicles to come up and repigment. So realistically, um, it's a, a success rate can vary between 10% all the way up to 90 to 95% in certain areas. So guys, I'll show you how uh, we perform phototherapy and the science behind this uh, really cool um, device. So hang tight. Okay guys, so I'm in the phototherapy room. Um, this is a very expensive um, sun tanning bed. So look, uh, seriously, um, it's a $75,000 machine. What it does is it filters out all the bad um, UV rays and basically gives you one wavelength. And the wavelength is 311 nanometers. And that wavelength itself is um, does two things. First of all, uh, it gives you some immune suppression. In other words, it stops those cells which are attacking the melanocytes or pigment cells, but it also stimulates the pigment um, in the hair follicle so that you get repigmentation. So it only produces one wavelength and one wavelength only. And I'll show you how it's done very shortly. And um, I'm actually getting a treatment myself. I do suffer, I don't suffer from vitiligo, I suffer from other skin conditions like eczema and this can be used for eczema as well. So hang tight and I'll show you how it's actually calibrated. Uh, so you can see this is automated. It says it's been 15,481 hours since my last treatment, which was yeah, about right. Uh, do I want to proceed? Yes, I've calibrated for 24 seconds uh, and we're gonna see how it's done. So come on in with me and I'll show you. Okay, so now we're in the phototherapy booth and uh, you can see we're surrounded, absolutely surrounded by lights um, all the way through. And these lights, um, <laughs> most expensive light bulbs, 120 bucks a light bulb uh, and it's made by Philips. So basically it's only one wavelength and like I said, it's 311 nanometer wavelength. Um, so we're gonna start the treatment very shortly. So it says, treatment in 10 seconds, put on your goggles. If you have vitiligo, obviously, on your eyelids, I don't use goggles. Uh, I get patients to close their eyes, um, but it's going to start very shortly. And um, that's it. So you can see it's pretty funky. It feels warm. Uh, it's all computer controlled. So it's very much different compared to handheld units because um, it's controlled precisely to the millijoule, so to the absolute millijoule. So I'm getting myself radiated. It's not radiation, it's 311 nanometer phototherapy. So there's no danger to this. We only make sure that you don't have a family history. It's completed. Okay, so we only make sure that you don't have a, a personal history of melanoma or family history of melanoma, but otherwise it's totally safe. Um, and like I said, it's filtered light, it's not normal light bulbs guys, we're using um, 
Philips light bulbs you can see and they're specific to this particular treatment itself. So that's phototherapy for you guys. Um, and it's easy as that. You just open the doors um, and you're out of the starters. And that's it. Hey guys, remember it's a two part treatment. The first part is actually stop or reduce your immune system from actually attacking the cells which uh, produce pigment. So what we use are different um, analogs or different ointments. Um, vitamin D, for example, uh, Dovinex ointment or Dovabet can be used. Not my favorite, causes too much irritation. This is my view only. It's been reported in the literature. Certainly your dermatologist may use these. I don't personally. So I actually like to use uh, a mixture of both advent and fatty ointment, which is an anti-inflammatory uh, ointment. But I use it in this particular way, seven days on with this and seven days on with a specially compounded one which is basically um, tacrolimus. Um, and once again, you can't buy these over the counter, you've got to see a dermatologist for that. And some of them like to use something like uh, Elodel as well. I personally think this is too weak, my opinion only, so basically I'm alternating between two ointments only. Uh, a compounded one which is tacrolimus and an anti-inflammatory which is a steroid. Alternating with this and this, uh, basically reduces the side effect of the steroid because this is the bad one, this is the good one. But this doesn't work as well as this. So that's the logic behind things. So what are some natural remedies and what is the science? Okay guys, so look, um, now we talked about ways to suppress your immune system using medical therapy. What I firmly believe in, and this is in the literature, is dietary methods and natural methods to treat your vitiligo. So, most important thing, de-stress, because your immune system is hyperactive and the best thing to do if you can is reduce your stress levels. I can't help you with that, but if you're under stress, that can make your vitiligo worse. Okay, now what else can you do to help with your vitiligo, which has been scientifically proven? First of all, there's lots of stuff in the literature, but certainly ginkgo biloba. So um, ginkgo biloba, you can buy that from a health food shop. Uh, that can help. So the dosage is between 40 to 60 milligrams per day. That's ginkgo biloba. The second thing is supplementation using vitamin D. There are numerous papers out over the last two years that show that vitamin D supplementation can help with vitiligo. And you can combine that with um, light therapy, phototherapy. So that's a natural way of treating vitiligo. So if you're against all the other things like um, creams and immune suppressants, go for the natural stuff, and, um, but go for the ones which actually work. Now, diet, does that help? Well, it's unproven, but look, I understand the theory behind eating acidic foods, tomatoes, citrus foods, all that to create inflammation. And you'll see numerous diets out there promoting a vitiligo-free diet. Uh, I have no problem with that. In fact, um, there's one or two papers showing gluten can actually help or gluten-free diet can actually help. So I have no problem with that at all because it does no harm. But if we're looking at scientific literature, uh, follow what's been published um, and that's a safe way to go. So that's my take on natural treatments for vitiligo. Thanks guys. So who is prone to vitiligo? Vitiligo crosses many races throughout the world. I'm Indian with white patches. I'm an African-American with white patches. I am Hispanic with white patches. I am black with white patches. I'm Caucasian with white patches. I am Asian with white patches. I'm human with white patches. So how do we gauge the results from vitiligo and the success rate? Facial areas do much better compared to other areas because we've got follicular units, in other words, hair follicles, which we, which we can repigment from, as compared with other areas. But if you have a look in the chest area here, you can see that there are hairs which are pigmented, which is a good prognostic sign. Now for acral vitiligo or vitiligo involving the hands and feet, the chance for repigmentation is very, very slim. In fact, it's in the order of 10 to 20%. The reason being is that there's a lack of hair follicles within these areas. Now, other factors that come into play include long-standing or segmental vitiligo because they carry a poor prognosis compared to early vitiligo. So what can we expect from vitiligo treatments? These are all my patients. So this is what we can expect. 
This is phototherapy together with anti-inflammatory creams over 16 weeks. Exceptional repigmentation here can be seen on the hands. This is an exception rather than the rule. Um, and once again, on the face, uh, you've got a 90% chance of repigmentation. Similarly, around the eye area, a very high chance of repigmentation. Over, this is over realistically 30 weeks. Similarly on the forehead, not perfect, but you can see repigmentation there. Once again, it's not marked, but you can see repigmentation there and here as well. So these are all actual results from real life patients over six to 12 months. If you look closely, you can see that one of the good prognostic factors is that he's got pigmentation within the hair follicles. So what happens is that over time, you can see after 96 treatments of narrowband phototherapy over 12 months, this is the repigmentation we have. Similarly, on the chest area, it looks like a huge patch, but he's got repigmentation over 12 months. That's because he's got follicles. This is an extraordinary case because he's got a remarkable amount of repigmentation. This is not normal, but he's got full repigmentation, and this was achieved within about five months. So four weeks into narrowband phototherapy, I combined this with vitamin A, and this is what we have. At week 16, this is exceptional repigmentation. So I'm not showing you the norm, I'm showing you some exceptional cases. What I like is the redness. See that little bit of redness there? Not sunburn, but a little bit red. Once again, uh, it can be achieved on even hard to treat areas such as the legs. Uh, not the norm because once again, these are exceptional cases. So um, there you have it guys. So can lasers for vitiligo work? The answer is yes. However, it is the exception rather than the rule. Fractional laser resurfacing has been shown to uh, help with vitiligo by stimulating melanocytes. And once again, it's the exception rather than the rule. The most popular laser is the 308 Exima laser. And yes, it does have its benefits compared to uh, phototherapy because we're treating only spots of vitiligo compared to the whole area or whole body. So it does have its benefits, but um, the downside is with insurance. Another laser which I'm very familiar with and have treated um, uh, patients over a year uh, is with this system. It's a 308 Exima system we're using um, the Quantel. Um, it's an excellent system and it's great for spots. The downside about using lasers for vitiligo is this, the sheer cost because um, it is not covered under insurance and many patients will require quite a few treatments, in fact, up to 100 treatments, and that can amount to thousands. So do I like using lasers for vitiligo? The answer is no. Unless it's covered by insurance, phototherapy is a much better um, modality to treat uh, vitiligo as in Australia it's covered by uh, insurance. If you do have insurance, however, um, they can be an excellent method to treat because we remember we're treating small spot sizes and small spot sizes only. They're quicker and they're more precise compared to phototherapy. So out of all the systems I like is the uh, Quantil uh, system. It's not actually the laser, it's actually Focus 308 light, uh, which is a little bit different. So this is my before and after um, of the, using the Quantil system, uh, and it's about four or five years old. But um, yes, I do like using it, but it's limited by insurance. Resell for vitiligo. Well, this is a whole new complex um, treatment. You can read more about it on um, the website www.lasersandlifts.com.au. Basically, what we do is that we harvest um, skin from the back of the ear. Uh, we prepare the area of vitiligo usually using a laser and we resurface the area of vitiligo so that there is bare skin. We split the um, dermis and epidermis, we harvest the melanocytes or pigment cells and basically we lay it down on the area. And this is basically a melanocyte transfer and we use phototherapy for 16 to 20 weeks after the procedure to stimulate the cells to produce more pigment. And what we do get is a repigmentation. Now, it is a very expensive method and once again, it's not uh, advocated for everyone. Never underestimate the power of makeup because with a good makeup artist, they've got skills far, far beyond what I have and they can actually color match your skin to actually cover the areas of vitiligo to the point where I cannot even contemplate of actually repigmenting. So if you've got a good makeup artist, um, 
the results are remarkable. In Australia, the makeup of choice is called Dermablend. Um, once again, color matching is very important. So you do need a makeup artist who is excellent at color matching. And you can see from this video, uh, the before and afters, the color match is absolutely spot on. Something which I can never achieve in all credit to a makeup artist because, um, yeah, they've got skills way beyond what I have. So guys, there you have it. That's vitiligo. Uh, in summary, um, my way of treating vitiligo, I think is a little bit different from other dermatologists because I'm kind of holistic. Um, I, do I believe in natural treatments? Yes, I do. The reason being is that because there's scientific evidence out there now that shows certainly vitamin D can help, uh, ginkgo biloba can help. So I have these patients on these natural remedies to begin with. Um, and I also put place them on our um, scientific methods, which means uh, anti-inflammatory creams in a safe manner, monitor them, and also phototherapy. Um, look guys, I would really like to help you, but please, please, no comments or emails knowing, do I know a dermatologist has got a phototherapy machine? The answer is that I, I don't, I don't know everyone. And the other thing as well is mutual respect for colleagues. Um, and this is some, something I really firmly believe in. I'm just showing you the way I treat vitiligo um, and my success rate. And once again, I may not be the best guy in the world who treat it, but I'm showing you my method. And your dermatologist may have a different method, uh, something which I thoroughly respect because at the end of the day, it may give you better results. Um, so please guys, don't ask for suggestions as to where can you get it because seriously, uh, I don't know who owns what. Um, all I know is that um, this is the way I do it um, and the success rate which I've had. Uh, and my, I think, holistic approach of this condition rather than, hey, you know, just go on drugs. I think it's change of lifestyle, diets, and also uh, proven scientific methods. Guys, thanks very much for watching this video yet again. Um, I try to do one educational video every Saturday morning, Brisbane time. So if you like, subscribe um, and comments below. Tell me what you've had that's worked for your vitiligo. Would really like to know uh, your thoughts, um, your methods, your diet, and, um, but please no spam, no selling. This is an educational site. Um, and not a site meant for, um, you know, a sales pitch. Just, just basically tell it like it is. Okay, guys, uh, I'll see you next Saturday, and don't uh, forget to subscribe. Catch you then. Bye. In all seriousness, I discovered Instagram less than one year ago, so if you're keen and interested on learning skincare and the laser technology, please subscribe to my Instagram site, and um, you'll have a couple of cool videos and pics every week. Um, so guys, thanks for that and I'll catch you later. Bye.